In Greenland, there was a 200 meter high mega tsunami, and the consequences of this gigantic wave have left scientists speechless. We will look at how the tsunami destroyed an entire military station, and why the effects reach far beyond the Arctic. So, make sure to stay tuned until the end. Welcome, everyone. Imagine you're fast asleep in your cozy bed when suddenly an ear-deafening rumble wakes you up. You jump up, run to the window, and see a gigantic wall of water rushing towards you. Sounds like the beginning of a cheap disaster movie. Well, for the residents of a remote fjord in Greenland, that was bitter reality. Except that there were no residents there at all. Phew, lucky us. But seriously, folks, what happened in September 2023 in Greenland has electrified scientists worldwide. A massive tsunami triggered by a landslide not only flooded the fjord, but also created a mysterious phenomenon that excites seismologists all over the world. And speaking of which, if you can never get enough of such fascinating natural phenomena and groundbreaking scientific discoveries, then why not leave a subscription right now? It doesn't cost anything, but it helps me a lot. So guys, subscribe and activate the bell. Thank you very much. You're the best. So now let's travel together to East Greenland, more precisely to Dixon Fjord. Here, surrounded by icy mountains and glaciers, something incredible happened on September 16th, 2023. A massive landslide broke away from the rock face and crashed with full force into the water of the fjord. The result, a mega tsunami that swept away everything in its path. But wait a minute, mega tsunami? Doesn't that sound a bit exaggerated? Well, judge for yourselves. In some places, the tidal wave reached a height of nearly 200 meters. That is 43 meters higher than the Cologne Cathedral. And that is already impressive. Imagine you are at the beach and see such a wave coming towards you. At that point, no surfboard will help you. Fortunately, Dixon Fjord was uninhabited at the time of the tsunami, and the only victims were perhaps a few unsuspecting polar bears who suddenly had to take swimming lessons. Nevertheless, this force of nature has left its mark. Satellite images show that the tsunami has left a trail of devastation through the fjord. Rocks were shifted and the coastline completely changed. It looks like a giant with an oversized pickaxe once worked the landscape. But what is truly fascinating about this event is not the sheer size of the tsunami. No, it is what happened afterward. For this tsunami has triggered something that has left scientists all over the world in awe. Now it's really getting crazy. Pay attention. Earthquake measuring stations within a radius of over 5,000 kilometers recorded a strange signal, a rhythmic oscillation that lasted for over a week. It was as if the fjord was breathing heavily. But what was going on there? Did the tsunami uncover an alien base? Like in the movie The Thing, or was it perhaps a Lovecraftian sea monster awakening from its deep sleep? Not quite, but the truth is just as cool. The tsunami had created a standing wave in the fjord, a so-called seich. Imagine the fjord as a giant bathtub. The tsunami was like a huge splash in the bathtub, and just as the water in your bathtub sloshes back and forth when you jump in too enthusiastically, so did the water in the fjord. Just a whole week long, the seich, this rhythmic lapping. It was so powerful that it literally made the ground vibrate under our feet. Seismometers around the world could measure this vibration. It was as if the fjord vibrated like a giant tuning fork and made the whole earth resonate. Now you might wonder, Wait a minute, how can tiny vibrations in a fjord somewhere in Greenland be measured on the other side of the world? Good question. The Earth is actually not as rigid as we often think. It is more like a giant jello. And just as waves spread through a jello when you poke it with a spoon, seismic waves spread through the Earth. Hmm. Jelly. The crazy thing is, these vibrations were so strong and persistent that they were even recorded by seismometers in Germany and Alaska. Imagine that, a landslide in a remote fjord in Greenland creates vibrations that you could theoretically have felt under your feet if you had only had the right instruments. But why is this actually so exciting? On one hand, it shows us how incredibly connected our Earth is. An event in one place can literally shake the whole world. Keyword, butterfly effect. On the other hand, it gives us new insights into the dynamics of our planet, because this siege is like a tsunami fingerprint. By analyzing these vibrations, we can draw conclusions about the force of the original event. It's a bit like playing detective, with the clues leading us directly to the Greenlandic scene of the crime. But it gets even better. This discovery could help us better predict and understand similar events in the future. Imagine if we could one day detect tsunamis before they even reach the coast, simply by paying attention to these subtle vibrations in the Earth. And then perhaps not only from polar bears and seals. 
it quickly becomes clear that lives are at stake in such an event. If you look at the dimensions, the force needed to create this sustained sage was enormous. Scientists estimate that the original landslide released an energy equivalent to that of several atomic bombs, of course without the radioactivity but still incredible, and now comes the twist. If the ice of the Greenland glaciers should melt more in the future, the pressure on the underlying rock masses will change. This can lead to more landslides, and more landslides mean potentially more tsunamis. It's a bit like a gigantic game of dominoes that Mother Nature is playing with us. A stone falls over, or in this case slips off, and the effects are felt all around the world, but no panic. That doesn't mean we all have to live in fear and terror now. On the contrary. The more we learn about such phenomena, the better we can prepare for them. Knowledge is power, folks. And you know what? That's exactly why I find such stories so fascinating. They show us how little we actually know about our own planet. Every time we think we've got it all figured out, the Earth surprises us with something new. It's a bit like solving an endless puzzle where new pieces are constantly appearing, and in this case, the new puzzle piece was a giant wave in the Arctic that sent a few polar bears into the cool water. And speaking of new parts, researchers suspect that such lichens could occur much more frequently than previously assumed. Perhaps we have simply overlooked or misinterpreted them until now. So what can we take away from this story? First of all, be careful the next time you go on vacation in Greenland. Secondly, our Earth is more exciting and complicated than we ever would have thought. A surf school in Greenland could be a lucrative business idea. You will be the first to hear about the next tsunami here on the channel. So feel free to subscribe now. And now we travel from an all-consuming wave to an equally voracious hole, a black hole. NASA has discovered a monster black hole that has just turned and is now pointing directly at the Earth. No joke, guys. How something like this can happen and whether this black hole can be dangerous for us, you can find out in the video below. Be sure to check it out. It's very exciting. And to support the channel, feel free to click through the old videos. Every click helps me a lot. Thank you very much. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.